if, if you don't mind, get, um, if I can mention about the insides and the steampunk uh, style yeah. of art. Why don't you tell us about how you created this in the steampunk style of art? Okay. All right. This is a, another sculpture that's made out of recycled metals. Uh, it's, it's done in the fashion of steampunk. Steampunk is a, a style of art where you take something organic or, or, or uh, typical and then you basically look, make it look like it's me mechanized and mechanized in a way that might have been around in the 1920s or so. Uh, what I've done here is I've reclaimed a lot of gears and uh, turbines and springs. These all came from an industrial warehouse in Dallas that I was asked to, to pull apart and I kept some of the cool things. This is a, a, a gas meter off a propane tank that I used on the mushroom bungos and so everything about what I do is, is meant to be kind of a recycled or, or give new life to it. Uh, everything has a purpose and a, and a, and a need. Um, so you might recognize some items. Uh, up here you have some valve stems from an engine and then from the same engine, I've got the push rods as the fins. And then I, 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 I burnt off a, uh, a used saw blade uh, to do one of the fins. Down here, I, this is actually a, a functioning handle that the kids can spin and uh, gives kind of a action to the fish so you can help the fish move through the water. <laughs> and this, uh, this is all part of the mechanized uh, world. And then I took this idea from the uh, Pearl Museum in Dallas uh, basically, it, it's a uh, 1981 Corvette drive shaft with the, with the uh, hinge still in it, with the same um, with the same um, tubing that I used over at the bongo drums, and then the kids whack it. It kind of gives a, a chime effect. So a little action, a little sound down there, and then of course across the fish's belly, yeah, you've got uh, the beginnings. I got to finish mounting this, but you got the beginnings of what is an entire set of xylophone, with the the sharps and the flats up here, and then the full scale down below. Okay, let's, let's look from this side. All right. And up front, uh, the telltale open mouth of the, of the largemouth bass, and he's, uh, he's catching a fish. Some, some, uh, some kiddo in the boat here is, uh, can imagine bringing this fish in. And down um, a lower lip is an exhaust pipe uh, from a, a, fr a friend's uh, exhaust system that I did, and that was a cutoff I reclaimed. This is large industrial spring. And then the mouth is a HVAC uh, ducting fan. So it's the kind that um, circulates in a house. Uh, these are some bed springs. And then this is a, actually an entire piece of art on its own uh, that kind of gives some action. It's, it's a spinner bait lure, just like you would use in deep sea fishing, uh, but the, the wind blows the spinner. You and, wanna point out anything on this other side over here? Uh, th hopefully the kids will recognize some things <laughs> like childhood spades and rakes. Um, I tried to make everything kind of yeah. light and fun for, for the younger folks so, mm -hmm. so they could recognize and appreciate. Right. Not every kid is going to you know, no notice mm -hmm. auto parts, but they, can, they, know, they know a spade when they see one. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.